a life moves fast and keeping track of time is not always easy. But thanks to a new atomic clock in Boulder, scientists are making sure the whole world stays on time down to a billionth of a second. That's impressive. Denver 7's Maggie Wolanski shows us the machine that's making sure every second counts. There are no numbers or alarms. No ticking because uh, the atoms are not ticking in like the acoustic or mechanical sense. But by definition, this is the best clock. It's the, it is the definition of the second. So it has to be essentially. This new atomic clock located at the National Institute of Standards and Technology in Boulder is a time saver in every sense of the expression. So this is NIST F4 the newest atomic fountain primary frequency standard or atomic clock. We use NIST F4 to realize the unit of time, the second. As impressive as it is, it took several years to create, with Vladislav Gurganov being one of the researchers helping to keep the project on time. There are less than 30 ever built. There are less than 20 in operation at uh, the moment. You can't see it, but inside this device, cesium atoms are ticking at the rate of about 9 billion cycles per second, which helps the world define the second. As in a pendulum clock where you count the swings of the pendulum to count seconds, in the same way in our system we count a lot of these fast oscillations of an atomic clock to realize one, two, three, four, and so on seconds. To make matters even more complicated. Technically, you're not allowed to call this a clock. It's more like of a tuning fork rather than a clock because it doesn't know uh, anything about time. It doesn't keep track of time, but it knows very well the fre a frequency, the cesium frequency. And these frequencies are technically a second. The definition of the second is how many times a cesium atom oscillates in one second, and it's you know, 9.2 billion times. You may wonder, how does NIST F4 help you? N NIST F4 and the, the clocks worldwide form a sort of backbone of timekeeping and that I think that part of NIST's mission is to always just make better, more reliable, more available measurements for, for the public. But just as time waits for no one, physicists are already racing to beat the clock on an even better invention. I think that looking forward though, there's a lot of new excitement where next generation clocks can potentially also measure things like gravitational fields on, on the Earth, and they can also potentially make measurements uh, much more quickly. Maggie Walansky, Denver 7.